Hi, welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner, and we're doing a third episode of Sardinian, tur Sardinian Turnovers. I know that sounds like sardines, but it's not. Sardinia, Italy. And um, this is just tips, and when you make your dough, because it does make a lot, and you do cut it into four pieces. Now, if you just want to use one piece, take the other four pieces, wrap them in wax paper, then wrap them in foil, chuck them in the, the freezer, and then when you get them back out, of course, unwrap them, and let them sit out for an hour. So, whatever you're gonna do, just put it down and go do what you gotta do. And if you don't feel comfortable with that, uh, uh, leave it out for a half hour, and stick it in the refrigerator and let it thaw out the rest of the, of the way in the refrigerator. And, um, so let me put this back in the fr freezer. Save that for later. And so what you do is with your dough is, which I've already rolled out, um, had some technical difficulties and uh, I don't want to start over again, but what you do is you just keep on working the dough when it's all nice and soft. It's going to be a little slimy. Get yourself some dredging flour, sprinkle the flour on the cutting board, and just work the dough like you would when you were making it. Just work it and keep on getting it softer and softer. You're, you're going to feel a hard, cold spots. And just keep on working it until it's nice and pliable. And and it's okay to keep on adding flour to it because in the beginning when it thaws out, it's going to be really sticky. So what I'm going to show you here, I got some oil heating up right here. Is Not only can you make uh, turnovers with this, you don't even have to do anything. Roll it out like this. Just roll it out. Take your cookie cutter. Make a round. Okay, like this. Now, take your little round and stretch it out into the shape of an egg. Or like this, just stretch it a little bit. Don't even roll it. I got some hot oil right here. Stick it in. And what's really neat about these is you can create your own little pastry pockets or something like, let's say you're watching a football game or you're watching something where you need something to snack on. Well, this turns out to work really well for that because you can have them empty if you don't want to have anything in it. Let's do another one. Okay, here's another round. Let's do two rounds. And again, when you make these turnovers, you can make them any size you want. If you want to make them bigger than this, if you want to roll them out, you can roll them out bigger. Uh, you can put a whole pineapple ring, a whole slice of ham. You can put uh, pepperoni and cheese. You can, you can put olives. You can think of it as a little calzone. You can you can you can really take the heat up, but just make sure when you uh, make sure when you make make sure I'm using the right right instruments here. Make sure your instruments don't have water on them. And this is almost done. These don't take very long. So let's get that out. And like uh wasn't thinking, didn't get any paper towel, so I'm gonna do something really bad here. Let's put that, oh that's fine. See, and you got your little popper, right? So let's cut that open. Now if you want, you can just when you slice it or try to slice it. Slice the end off. Take your, take your knife. See how it fits in there. It creates a little pocket. And if you have like a, a knife, you can put like if you have if you make your own marinara sauce, take some marinara sauce, put it in there. If you want uh, ranch dressing, put some ranch dressing in there. Um, now the second one I'm gonna make in. They're really good by themselves. They're kind of like. 
got a lot of flavor. And they're really, they're really crispy. Not crispy, but more flaky. Okay. No stop snacking. More doing. Um. Okay, now we have two of them. Now we have one of them. Okay, we're gonna make another one. Gravity. That'd be interesting if it hit the ceiling. Come here. Nope. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Remember how we made tortillas? We're just gonna take our thumbs and flatten it out. So we're not using the rolling pin, we're just making it around. Make it a little bit bigger. Let me get my get all these bags and stuff in it. Mozzarella cheese out. You have a slice of pepperoni. Stick it in there. Get a slice. Like this. Now, if you can, you want to. With stuff like this, you don't need to put the egg around it. Pinch it. Just pinch it really tight. Or what you can do is as you pinch it, you can fold it on itself. Fold. Fold. You might want to get a little bit of a... Ooh. I want to turn the, turn the um, oil down here. It's smoking. Yes, you got to turn that on. So just go all the way around, fold it over, and get some flour on your fingers because I know this is sticky. So just work it until it's all sealed. Get your cheese in the center. Let's and step on the dough on the ground. I just did. Let's stick that in there. And I got my oil. Uh, my, my loyal. I got loyal oil. There we go. I got my oil on low right now and it's cooking. So, and if you want, you can actually stick jam in these, like breakfast. You can say breakfast bites. Take some cream cheese on a knife. Put the knife in there, pull it off, take some jam, stick it in there, pull it off, breakfast bites. Let's see how this one's doing. Excuse me. I'm going to turn that, turn it off now. Okay, here we go. Put the oil on the back burner. When you're done with oil, you make sure that you're really done with it. Turn it off and always move it to the back. In case you accidentally do leave it on. So, let's look at our next uh, little pocket. So here we go. And again, let's open it up. And I'm going to use a knife because yeah, got the melted, melted uh, cheese inside. And get some marinara sauce, and you got cheese pockets. So it's like almost whatever you can think of to put in these things. It's like almost an inverted pizza. And I haven't eaten yet, that's why I'm nibbling. Um, so, just remember that when you thaw it out, you can make a lot, you can make a, a, you can make a lot from these. You can make, you know, make a whole bunch of them. And then, if you have a toaster oven, make up a whole bunch of them. And then, Stick them in the toaster oven to reheat them. Like put, put the well, I ate it. It's gone. But the little little uh, oblong shape one, shape one. Fill them with cream cheese, jam. Eat them cold. Fill them with cream cheese, jam. Warm them up a little bit. So whatever comes to your imagination. So I hope you get more ideas with this, and I'll talk to you later. Toodles.